Hello everyone, it's April here, bringing you another video. My first ever sewing machine, that was originally my mom's, a Singer 9420 that she purchased in 1995 for $297.08, finally gave out. Based on what it needed to repair it, it wasn't really feasible to fix, so I decided to buy a new one. At this point in time, you might be wondering what this video has to do with dolls. But considering I mainly sew doll clothes on my sewing machine, I felt it was relevant. So I did some looking and came across the Brother CS7000X, and I watched a few videos on YouTube where it was generally described as a good step up from a basic sewing machine. So I decided I would try it out, and I ordered it through Walmart. My total with tax was $216.99. So the sewing machine has now arrived. So let's get in here and take a closer look at everything. So here is everything that you see when you first open the box. In this bag we have, it looks like our different feet replacements, extra needles, extra bobbins. So basically all the extras that come with the machine. In here we have our foot pedal and this is our power cord. This is the sewing table that attaches to the machine and it was inside of a large rectangle cardboard box within the box. It does have a fold down leg on it for better stability. And here we have our sewing machine cover. And here is the actual sewing machine. And the last item in the box is the user manual. So I'm going to get the sewing machine unwrapped and ready for use. There is a quick reference guide attached to the sewing machine, and basically this shows you how to thread the machine and do the bobbin and all of that. And your lever to lift the foot pedal is over here to the side. I'm used to my other machine being more on the back side, so that might take some adjusting. I'm going to try the sewing table on here real quick, and this does easily remove and the sewing table easily snaps in place. I do want to note that this machine apparently has an automatic threader, but I guess the directions kind of went over my head. I don't fully understand them. So for the time being, I'm going to thread my own needle. So I believe we are ready to go now. The first item that I'm going to try to make is a pair of doll jeans. And I do have the machine set to do automatic reinforcement stitching. So whenever I first start stitching, it's actually going to go ahead and reinforce it without me having to do anything. Right off the bat, I can tell you that this machine is considerably quieter than my Singer sewing machine. And I have already noticed that I seem to be saving a lot of time since I'm not constantly having to manually move the needle. When I start sewing, I press a button, it goes down, and whenever I finish sewing, I have it set to automatically be up. Here they are, the very first item that I made with my new sewing machine. And I made them for you guys. So I will be adding these jeans to my 1,000 subscriber giveaway pot. Speaking of which, when I reach 1,000 subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway that will include this truly me number 47. So if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel for a chance to win. Since filming and sewing the jeans, I have been experimenting with other stitches and look at how beautiful these are. I have sewn four different outfits now and I am so happy with this machine. The feet are easy to change out and I love that when you select a stitch, it tells you right here on the display what foot you need. Features that I really like on the sewing machine are that you can set the needle stop position, adjust the max sewing speed, automatic reinforcement stitching, not to mention 70 different pre-programmed stitches. And thus far, I haven't found a single thing that I dislike about it. 
Granted, I have only sewn with one other sewing machine that was at least 26 years old. But as of right now, I'm giving this machine five out of five stars. Well, that's a wrap. If you liked that video and would like to see more like it, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and I hope you have an indelible day.